the ODM party loyalty and the democracy within the party has put to a test at least for the past time. And especially during when we were having the BBI debate bill going on at the National Assembly and again at the same time at the Senate. And many of these leaders who were having a dissenting voices on that bill have been speaking their mind outside there. And even yesterday, part of these leaders, including Senator James Orengo and the Yareda MP Otiende Amolo, were hosted by the Kakamega governor, Wikilif Oparanya, at his home constituency in Butere. <laughs> now, after that meeting on a Sunday, the ODM party leader, Raila Molo Dinga, today finally called this leader and he has had another meeting with them. This includes uh, Senator James Orengo and then Governor Oparana himself in company of Charity Ngilu, the Kitui governor. Now, before we go deep into that discussion of the meeting, you might be watching me for the first time and you have not yet subscribed. Consider using this time to subscribe so that any other time, once we come out with a video like this one, you always get notified. And to everyone who has subscribed, I must say thank you so much for your unconditional support. In fact, the more you subscribe, the more you help us to reach more people outside there. So thank you so much. Now, let us get back to our discussion. I was saying today, the ODM party leader, Raila Molodinga, decided to host a meeting with the, some of the ODM leaders who were not for the BBI the way it had been constituted. And now this was at his current home. Then after that meeting, a meeting that I will call or I will refer to as the setting back to, going back to the factory setting. <laughs> now ODM actually is going to factory setting. That, that is what I can say about this meeting. This is what Raila Molodinga wrote on his Facebook page. I had a great chat with I had a great chat this morning with Governor Charity Ngilu and the Wycliffe of Oparanya together with Senator James Orengo, who I hosted for Bruch. Thanks for dropping by. That is what Raila Molodinga posted after that meeting. Then, one hour later, Governor Oparanya also wrote something on his Facebook page. I will read it again. So this is what Governor Parana wrote on his Facebook page. Together with Senator James Orengo and the Kitui Governor, Her Excellency Charity Ngilu, we met ODM party leader Honore Baraila Amolo Odinga at his current home. It goes on to say, We are happy that the former Prime Minister is in an upbeat mood after recovering from COVID-19. Our meeting today should dispel Rumors of rebellion in ODM as this are wishful thinking of our political detractors. Then he ends by saying, I thank our sister, Her Excellency Ngilu, for her support. This was one hour later. And even also, Orengo posted, one hour also after Raila Molodinga had posted that picture. So I will read also what Orengo said. Orengo was just simple and clear to the point. He did not have that much details like Oparanya. This is what he said. Very refreshing to catch up with my party leader, Honorable Raila Amolo Odinga, Governor Oparanya and Mama Charity Ngilu. That's the end of what Senator Orengo had to say about that meeting. Now, the fact of the matter is that ODM has gone through its own ups and downs. There have been cracks in ODM, and these cracks were maybe going to lead out into a fallout in the ODM party. But Raila Molodinga, now himself in his own wisdom, has realized that it is now the right time for him to intervene and even sit down with the descending voices to discuss on how they are going to resolve the problems in the ODM party. That is the fact of the matter. Despite the fact that other people had decided to say that Raila Molodinga can go on with the ODM and eh, forget about Orengo and the team. That's what some people are, are saying outside there. And many people 
still believe that Raila Molo Dinga need the brains of James Orengo and the Riareda MP Otiende Amolo. So having those facts, and even what Governor, sorry, Senator Orengo was talking about, Section 11A, talking about the economic and shared prosperity. <laughs> that is what he was talking about in the National Assembly. Sasa watu wamekua kiwuliza Orengo, hope you have shared this issue with Baba. Because it is just a wishful. It is not really happening in real sense. Now it has reached high time that Raila Molo Dinga has to choose to call this leader, sit with them and also give them his ear. Unlike when he was just meeting people like Junet Mohammed, John Bad and the team, and this John Bad and Junet were being seen as arrogant guys the way they were handling the issues in the National Assembly and even the firing of Otiende Amolo. So these cracks were emerging more deeper. And now it is the time Raila has decided that he has to amend to mend his fences with his people who have been loyal to the ODM party. That is why that meeting has been called for. Another issue is the move that Governor Parana has been taking. All along, many people have come to realize that Governor Parana was moving away from ODM party. And I see Charity Ngilu as a mediator being called on this meeting. Remember, Ngilu is not a member of ODM party. So the role of Ngilu here was just to mediate between the ODM leader and these two individuals. Remember, Parana is a pillar in ODM party when it comes to Western region politics. And therefore, moving to, to, to William Ruto camp, this was a blow to ODM. And we talked about this one. So this has been the right time, Raila, who could not even allow Orengo, uh, Senator, sorry, Governor Parana to go. I knew Raila was not going to take it easy to allow Oparanda to go to Hasla Nation. <laughs> because he's learning from the other experience that he had gone through. When he allowed people like Ruto and Mdavad to leave ODM party, even Najib Balala that time. So through those ups and downs that he had gone through, he has come to realize that he needs all these people before he can head to other people to ask for their help. That is the fact. And the reason of the wrangle that has been going through the ODM part, in my own view, I feel that it's all about the transition of leadership in ODM part. Raila is getting old, and soon there will be a transition in ODM part. There will be new leadership in ODM part. The Luo Nyanza people or leadership, elected leaders, want to be part of the new ODM leadership. They want to inherit from Raila Mono Dingo. People like Joho want to inherit from Raila Mono Dingo. Oparanya is feeling that he's the right person to inherit from Raila Amolo Odinga. So this crux has been going on. But many people say that Raila is mostly favoring someone like Joho to take over from him. And so the likes of Otienda Molo and Orengo and the governor Oparanya has to descend and also put a footprint on what they feel that it should be the right way to go. So those are some of the reasons that has caused these cracks within ODM. People are also going for their personal interest. Manainch always comes later, but politicians will first of all go for their own personal interest. So because of personal interest, that's why Akina Oparanya, the Orangos and the, and, and the Otienda Molos had to speak their mind so that they will have their way. That is what has caused all these issues that is happening in the ODM party. And another thing that is costing ODM through all this is what I can call of the mistrust between Raila Molo Dinga and President Uhuru Kenyatta. Some of these leaders still believe that President Uhuru Kenyatta might be Lying to Raila Molo Dinga <laughs> in the interest of passing BBI. Then after that, maybe President Uhuru can dump Raila Molo Dinga. For that reason, these people also want to have their voice heard. 
That's why we are having such wrangles. And this might be true. How can you trust President Uhuru relationship with Raila Molo Dinga when they have had another fallen relationship with the Deputy President William Samway Ruto? <laughs> so there is no guarantee that President Uhuru Kenyatta is going to support the ODM leader Raila Amolo Odinga. He can be betrayed if Ruto was easily betrayed after working together for more than two terms. They have had two campaigns together. So for that reason, these leaders are thinking otherwise. That is what has brought problem. But I think now Raila deciding to sit down with the top leaders in ODM. Forget about people like Mbadi and Junet Muhammad. We have people who are very key players in ODM party. And these are the likes of Governor Joho, who comes with the vote, Oparanya who brings in votes, Orengo who brings in his mind and the votes. And sometimes even you could feel when there is no Raila Molo Dinga and you see the presence of Orengo, you feel the stamp of Raila Molo Dinga during 2017 election campaigns. So people like Otienda Molo, they come in with their brain. <laughs> so the legal brain here is so key and important to Raila Amolo Odinga. So appreciating that fact, Raila has to resolve all these wrangles within the party. And remember, ODM has been losing. If we talk about Governor Nanok, who was a strong member in ODM, a defender of Raila Amolo Odinga, a person who could not, who, who could even risk attempting, attempting to address President Uhuru Kenyatta without fear or contradiction. Now, the loyalty of that governor is with William Samway Ruto. Oparana was on his way. And if you remember, the governor, Governor Kingi, Kilifi governor, he was on his way out of ODM. So this one appreciates the fact that there have been a problem in ODM and therefore it's high time for Raila Molodinga to sit down with these people and uh, resolve these issues so that the turbulence may come to a settle. Let them settle the wrangle. So that was the main aim of this meeting. I think this is the end of our video. Thank you so much for coming this far with me. Consider to subscribe to subscribe if you have not yet subscribed, my good friends. Consider to subscribe. So, let's meet in another video. May good God bless you. Thank you so much.